This is a story um, about my father, because my father is a very philosophical man, and he always has an idea going around and around and around in his mind, and each idea that he has, its orbit takes several years to go around, and when he's really gone all the way through, then he has a new idea. And these days he has a new idea. And his idea is that when we are conceived, we appear in our mother's womb like a little tiny light suspended in an immense space. And there's no sound, it's completely dark, and time doesn't seem to exist. It's like an ocean of darkness. And then we're growing, and we keep growing and growing, and as we grow, slowly we begin to feel things, and touch things, and touch the walls of our world that we're in. And then we begin to hear sounds and feel shocks that come to us from the outside. And as we get bigger and bigger, the distance between ourselves and that other outside world becomes smaller and smaller. And this world that we are inside, which seemed so huge in the beginning and so infinitely welcoming, has become very uncomfortable. And we are obliged to be born. And my father says that birth is so chaotic and violent that he's sure that at the moment of birth we're all thinking, this is it, this is death, this is the end of my life. And then we're born and it's such a surprise because it's just the beginning. And in the beginning, we're very small, and the world seems infinitely big, and time seems infinitely long. But then we keep on growing, and we learn how to use our senses, and we learn how to touch, one more time, the contours of the world that we're in. And sometimes, mixed in with the sounds, and sensations of this world. We hear sounds and feel shocks that come from yet another world. And that other world just follows us our whole lives long, as if something is happening just on the other side of a very, very thin wall. But we can forget about it for a long time, and then all of a sudden it comes again. And then at the end of our lives, we're obliged to die. And at that point, my father says that then we think we're really smart, and we think this time we know for sure that this is death and that this is the end, because everybody knows that. But my father thinks that that's not the end either, it's just the beginning of something else. Soon this space will be too small And I'll go outside To the huge hill I'll be 
strong as a ship and wise as a wave and I'll say the three words that will save us all and I'll say the three words that will save us all What my 